how did this kind of come together from your end? Um, well, free agency started, and, and um, you know, we talked to the Warriors, and they reached out, and you know, ever, ever since they called me and felt like this is the right situation for me to going forward, and just really excited to, to be a part of this. How do you see you fitting in on this team? Well, I mean, obviously it's a championship team, and you know, I have to do the stuff that I do. I feel like this team playing in a certain you know way that really fits my game. Uh, you know, going into free agency, this is one of the things I looked at. Uh, I want to run. I want to shoot threes. Obviously, my game. I don't shoot a lot of mid range, or, you know, whatsoever. So, I want to do whatever it takes to, to help. You know, whether to play tough defense, shoot open shots, move the ball from you know from side to side, defend. You know, do the stuff I do. It's a report out that said that you took a lot less money to play for these guys. Is that true? I mean. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, one thing that I, I look, you know, when me and my agent talked about is being a part of this organization and culture and, and win, you know, and, and I'm happy to have the opportunity here. What are the, what's the popularity of the Warriors like in Israel? What was the reaction back there? Oh, uh, country was going crazy. I know that, you know, and, and the Warriors is, you know, like a like a rock rock star, you know, in a sense. So. People are really excited. You know, I'm really excited. I feel like it's going to be a great fit, and, and I can't wait to start. You grew up watching the Bulls in Israel, right? Is it yeah. kind of the Warriors kind of becoming like oh, yeah. the Bulls were then? Even more. You know, I feel like, you know, now obviously games are televised on a nightly basis and league pass and all that. So a team like the Warriors is very obviously well known all over the world. And, you know, to be a part of this and to be about this culture and, and, and coaching staff and everything here is, is, is a you know, a blessing. Well, you're old enough then to have the perspective to remember when the Warriors weren't like that. <laughs> what, what's, in your mind, what's been different about them in these last five, six years or so? Well, obviously you can write a book on other things that have been different, you know, but, you know, the culture has, has obviously changed dramatically and the, the guys that lead the way from, from, you know, even before KD got here, you know, made everybody want to be, a, you know, like the Warriors and they changed the game in the sense that the way they play and the structure and the way they shoot threes. Uh, it wasn't like that when I got in the league in 2009 and you know me and Steph were the same class and, and things were different. There was a lot of one-on-one -on -one and, and post-ups and now the ball is moving from side to side. The guys are shooting threes. Big, big men are shooting threes so uh, they definitely have a culture of winning. You have the right you know guys around and you want to be a part of this. Yeah, you also have the perspective to know uh, how this team's regarded in, in terms of everybody who comes here seems to just enjoy it from JaVale McGee to Kevin Durant. Uh, when you're on the outside and then you have a chance to be part of that, how exciting is that to be part of that? You know, it's a dream come true. You want to be a part of this. You know, one of the main reasons that I wanted to come here and I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity. So, you know, I thank everybody who's been involved and I want to be, you know, part of this for, for many years. What do you well, remember from the uh, game in December two years ago at Oracle? <laughs> It was fun, you know, it's, you know, one of these moments, I mean, it doesn't happen often that, you know, that you made shots, you know, some guys make shots, but then you have a guy like Steph coming right back and, you know, doing it even better. So, you know, it was definitely one of the night to remember and, you know, hopefully they'll relive it, you know, back again. What was the feeling like? I mean, it just seemed like every, we went back and watched the tape. I mean, I was there that night and it just like, it seemed like everything that you put up was, was right. going in, right. Oh. I mean, you know, we had a system that, you know, George, when, when George Carr was with us in Sacramento, he really emphasizes is running and shooting and, and, and stuff like that. And you get more opportunities to shoot when you play in a fast pace and, and it kind of fits my game. So, you know, at that time I felt, you know, confident enough to, to take those shots and, and coach obviously was, was, was preaching, you know, that flow of offense. You know, it was one night that, you know, things went, went well for me. After being with Sacramento for so long, how has this past year been kind of bouncing around? It wasn't easy, obviously. I had some, some small injuries that kind of slowed me down and, and, you know, I wanted to build off of a good year in Sacramento the year before, you know, but this summer I literally took a day off and, and started working on my game and working on everything that I need to do to, to become a better basketball player and then work on the stuff that I do good to, to stay good and even better. I can't wait for the season to start. I have so much to prove and, and a lot on, you know, like a big chip on my shoulder to, to go ahead and, and do the stuff I need to do to help my team win. And this is what I'm looking for and I want to help the team win. And this is my, my, my goal. How about a little bit about Sacramento. the nightmare you had last year kind of with, with the injuries? I mean, you say they were little injuries, but you did break your thumb. Right. And you had a foot injury, is that correct? And my, you were also sick for a while. 
I mean, have you ever had a, gone through a year like that where it just a little like one thing right after another? Not even close, you know. Um, and you're right. I mean, it just, you know, just, just, just every time I, I felt like I'm getting into a rhythm and, and start playing again, you know, something happened. But it's part of the part of the, the NBA season, part of part of the, my career. You know, it never happened to me before, and hopefully it'll never happen again. But you know. I take the good and the bad in the same, you know, sometimes you got just got to figure it out and, and, and get back on the, on the horse and, and play again. How, how flattered you, were you that the, that the Warriors sought you out and called you? And very, were you surprised? I mean, I wasn't surprised, but I was very flattered, obviously, you know, and, and to this good of organization and culture and, and team that kind of give you the confidence that they're looking at you and, and want you to be a part of this. Obviously, you know, you can't overlook that. and. You know, from the moment they called, um, you know, this is where my heart wanted to be, and you know, I'm happy we made that decision. This is a, known as a, a team that's got a bunch of guys that are easy to bond with. Can you see yourself in, in a year or two up the line inviting some of them to go back home with you, like you did oh, with the Kings? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's a great group of guys. You know, I, you know, throughout my, my eight years in the league, I always felt like, you know, they were welcome in every locker room that I've been in, and you know, guys see me as a good friend, so. Can't wait to you know to get to know these guys even more, and, and you know I played against them for many years. You know me and Steph were obviously like in the same class, but we got to know each other from from our rookie year, and can't wait. It's it's you know it's a definitely a, a great group of guys to be around. What was that What was that like introducing some of your teammates and other NBA players to your homeland? Oh, it's, I mean, to me, you know, every time we, we travel the, the country here in the States, they always invite me to their home, and we never really have the chance to fly 15-hour flight from San Francisco to Tel Aviv and show them my home and where I go to eat and, you know, the places I like to go, you know, just to clear my mind. And, and to have that opportunity with the guys that have been in Israel with me is, is great, you know. So this is definitely something I cherish, and I, I want to do more and more. Obviously, this is in Sacramento, but just being back in Northern California, does it feel? Do you, is there a sense of familiarity there? Yeah, I mean, going down what 80 East now to Sacramento. Uh, it's hour and a half. I have, most of our furniture is still there in our cars, so I'm looking forward to go back to Sacramento. Sacramento has been great to me, and obviously, we we as a team, we wanted to make this you know franchise better. They have a great fan base, and I'm excited to to be a part of this you know Golden State family you know and and going forward to to play against Sacramento four times a year is even better. Did you leave a lot of your stuff like in a storage locker? Yeah, yeah, or yeah. I have to go back. Well, I think I'll do that in September, but I have to go get my car and, and my furniture there. How about just playing for a team that wins? You've been in the league eight years, and I mm -hmm. think, am I right, only Houston? Yeah. A winning team? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, this is something that, you know, you want to put yourself in this situation. And, and going to free agency, we talked before and kind of, you know, our, we did our due diligence and, and, and you know, pre. You know, free agency. We said we want to be in a winning situation. We want to be in a winning franchise. And I was fortunate enough to be with the best. So, you know, it's a it's a blessing. Uh, where do you live in the offseason? I'll go back to Tel Aviv. We'll go back Aviv. Friday. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. we have our national team duties. We start Tuesday. We play Zaza, <laughs> our fourth game in the European Championship. We're going to be in Tel Aviv, so it'll be great and, and it's exciting. Who, who do you know best on this team? Well, I played against these guys plenty of times, and, and you know, KD reached out when I signed, and you know he welcomed me to the team. And you know I know obviously Steph, like I said, we played, you know we, we pre-drafted together in, in the same class. So Draymond, you know all these guys are, are great teammates, great friend, you know culture guys, and you know I feel like you know they welcome everybody. So I'm looking forward to it. Anybody else reach out to you besides KD? No, KD was the only guy. Yeah. You here? Have you heard through the grapevine how good the culture is here? Mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. beyond just the winning, obviously. Do you, does that stuff get out among the players? Oh, no doubt. How good it is here? No <coughs> doubt. No doubt. Absolutely. I mean, guys doing, you know, guys doing due diligence and talking to each other, then they want to put themselves in the situations, you know, just like teams doing it and, and, and kind of doing their research on players. You know, and, and you know, going to free agency, we, we talk to the guys and, you know, obviously, you know, it's well known around the league that the Warriors are at the top. So it's very important. You want to put yourself in, in the right organization and right culture and the right, you know, coaching staff and the right teammates to help you be better and the team to be better and, and kind of win together. So these things are really, really, really important. When David West came here last year, we, we didn't realize how good a passer he mm -hmm. was because of the system he was in before. Right. He really didn't pass all that much. Is there a part of your game, do you feel, 
is going to come out that we maybe haven't seen just based on the style of play that they have here? Okay, I mean, uh, you know, looking at the league, you, you have 20. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry. 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 It's okay. Glad it wasn't me. <laughs> so I think most of the league, you know, if you look at the league, you have the, the, the big chunk of the 60, 70% of the league are, are players that are really dependent on the situation they're going to be in in the system. You know, obviously the 20, 15, 20% of, of the top are, are the top. You know, if you put Steph Curry with the Warriors or other team, it'll be Steph Curry or LeBron James. But the guys need to be in the right system. So I feel like this system will be great. I mean, passing obviously will be, you know, one thing that I want to em emphasize. I want to play tough defense. I want to build that trust, you know, with, within the coaching. Ob obviously, I know what I'm getting into and, and I'm looking forward to it. Being the only player right now in, in the league from Israel and now having this this platform, is your hope to, to inspire more you know, young guys in, oh, in no Israel doubt. to, to no get doubt. to this level? No doubt. I mean, this is the top of the top. And, you know, um, you know, now we have responsibility to, to work, you know, myself and then kind of fit in and, and see what I can help this team. So I'm looking forward to it. Do you know Swaggy at all? Or are you uh, on a first name? Yeah, or? yeah. I mean, I don't know him personally. We'll play against each other plenty of times. And, and you know, I feel like we, we have shooting all over the place. And, and this is just great, you know. And this is something that complements his game and my game. And I'm looking forward to, to work with him and our coaching staff. And it's really great. It'll be fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you.